Hi folks, welcome to chapter 10, step 2, editing the header content. I wanted to create a separate video for this because it does apply to specific pages within your site. Uh, let's just open up uh, Dreamweaver and let's open up um, the About page. Now the About page is linked to a secondary layout. The header content is only usually visible in a minimized layout, uh, uh, secondary layout page, and maybe some of the specific pro component pages. But let me just show you what the uh, that information is. We'll just expand our uh, page here. We have this header content right here and it's sort of designed to take up a little bit of the slack. Let's preview the page and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. In this secondary layout we have this mini sli Nevo slider, Nevo slider small, and beside it there's just some extra space. And that extra space we can put a text component or an editable text region and we call it the um, header content region where you have uh, a bit of information here that you can use to help describe what your page is about. As a matter of fact you can pretty much put whatever you want into that area. It's just an image, uh, it's just an editable region. We've put text in there. Uh, but to change the text it is specific to each page so it's not something you can update in one part of the site like a library file and then have it cascade throughout. It's specific to each page. And to make those changes, let's just uh, get rid of these visual aids because they are not needed. We have here an H3 tag and we have right below it an H4 tag. So it is sort of designed to help with some search engine optimization by uh, using H tags and because they are higher up on the page we thought they'd have a little bit more weight um, with the information we put in there. To change the information just select it with your cursor and new heading tag here. And the best way from a visual appeal to make sure that it uses the same font size and color is just make sure that when you're done and you select uh, the text, that heading 3 shows up as the format. And then down below, you just sort of select it with your mouse, um, new tagline for H4, whatever you want to put. When you're said and done, select it and you should have heading 4 show up down below. And really that's all there is to working with a content header. The key ingredients being, it is an additional search engine mechanism. It adds a little bit more weight, certainly not the same weight as the H1 and the H2 tags. Uh, it could use, be used for text. You can also drag an image into this area just by dragging it from a, a folder on your page. And um, if you want to retain the sort of font styling, make sure the top line is styled as an H3 and optionally the bottom line, if you use it, styled as the H4. A lot of people just tend to remove that second one and go with the top one up there.